Today we are going to learn how to use the DJI Assistant app to configure your Ronin handheld 3-axis camera stabilizer. First, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone and that your Ronin is powered on. Then, launch the app. It will scan for your Ronin. Select your Ronin's Bluetooth ID, then press OK. If this is your first time connecting the Ronin, the app will ask you to name your Ronin and apply a password. The first thing we're going to do is use the Ronin wizard. The wizard is an easy way to configure basic settings on your Ronin. Once the camera platform has been balanced, select Auto-Tune Stability. This will calibrate your Ronin's motors to your camera's weight and tune other sensors on the gimbal. Remember, you still have to balance your camera physically before using this function. Under the Auto-Tune button is a live data feed of the power and angle of your Ronin's three motors. You can also enable and disable briefcase mode. As you can see, when briefcase mode is enabled, rolling the Ronin 90 degrees causes it to reorient itself into a position that allows you to hold it low to the ground and squeeze between narrow obstacles. Disabling it prevents it from going into this mode. Smooth Track Mode is an intelligent movement prediction system that allows a single Ronin operator to orient and move his camera the way he wants. With Smooth Track disabled, the camera maintains its heading despite operator movement. You can change basic smooth track adjustments from the wizard. Speed is how fast your camera moves in the direction you want it. Deadband is the amount you need to move the handles before the camera starts moving, and the acceleration is how quickly the motors keep up with your movements. Currently, speed and deadband are set to 15, and acceleration is zero for both the pan and tilt axis. When we increase pan speed to 40, deadband to 30, and acceleration to 60, we can see that the amount you need to pan the gimbal before the camera moves increases. The speed with which the camera moves is much faster than before, and the movement of the gimbal catches up to the operator's movement much quicker. Let's change tilt speed to 40, deadband to 50, and acceleration to zero. As we tilt the Ronin, we can see that the high deadband forces you to tilt the gimbal dramatically before your camera starts moving. We can also see that at zero acceleration, your camera is very slow to keep up with your movements. Testing your pan speed allows you to preview how fast your camera pans while in smooth track mode. Same applies for testing tilt speed. Control speed adjustments can figure how fast your Ronin moves when using a remote. We can skip the onboard controller settings for now as that will be a future feature. This is how the Ronin moves when changing pan speed to 20 and tilt speed to 40. Pressing gimbal on the upper left brings us back to the gimbal tab. We will now go into the motor settings of your Ronin by selecting motor. The auto-tune stability function is identical to the wizard. We also have the same live motor data. Stiffness determines the strength with which your Ronin motors maintain your camera's position. This is important in maintaining stability. You can test this by trying to manually nudge your camera against its position. When stiffness is too low, your camera's position is easily destabilized. When stiffness is just right, the Ronin's motors provide just the right amount of force necessary to stabilize the camera, even when external forces are applied. If the camera platform vibrates, this means your stiffness is too high and you should start to decrease each motor's stiffness settings until it stops. Trim allows you to offset the default angle of each motor. Next, let's go back to the gimbal tab and select Smooth Track. Here, we can configure the same settings we covered in the wizard. The control tab allows you to configure the Ronin settings when in remote mode. Deadband determines how much you need to push the control sticks before the Ronin moves. Again, the onboard controller is a future feature and we can skip that for now. When deadband is set to six, the Ronin moves almost instantly when you move the control stick. At 50, you have to move the control stick considerably more for the Ronin to start moving. Smoothing controls how smoothly the Ronin decelerates when you let go of the control stick. At a setting of 15, the Ronin smoothly slows to a stop when you let go of the control stick. At zero, the Ronin stops almost abruptly. Channels allow you to configure the joysticks on your remote. Maximum speed controls how fast the Ronin moves in response to your joystick movements. Here, pan is set to 100, and this is tilt set at 50. Endpoints allow you to limit the movement of your Ronin in remote mode. I've set an endpoint of zero on tilting up from its center position. 
As you can see, I can tilt the Ronin down and back to its center position, but even though I'm pressing the control stick up, it stops at the center position. Setting the pan left endpoint and pan right endpoint to zero removes them, allowing me to rotate the Ronin 360 degrees on the pan axis. When I set them to 45 degrees, we can see that the Ronin stops at 45 degrees when panning from its center position. You can also test the endpoints you have chosen using the test pan endpoints and test tilt endpoint functions. The Ronin will pan left and right until it hits its pan endpoints and tilt up and down until it hits its tilt endpoints. Settings allows you to configure the function switch on the upper left of your Ronin remote. The function switch has three positions that you can assign different smooth track speed presets to. When combined is selected, you can select three combined smooth track speed presets for pan and tilt. When independent is selected, you can separate pan and tilt smooth track speed settings for each of your three presets. The smooth track speed presets will take precedence over the app smooth track speed if the controller is turned on. When the controller is turned off, the Ronin will then default back to the app settings. The viewer allows you to view real-time motor power, angle data, battery voltage, temperature, and Ronin runtime. The real-time graph can be switched between displaying power data and angle data. Pressing the More tab reveals some extra functions. Sometimes harsh conditions in the field can affect the Ronin stabilization. Calibrate system will have the Ronin recalibrate all of its internal sensors so that you can keep shooting. This must be done on a non-moving stable surface. Remember to reboot your Ronin after using this function. Finally, if you're ever stuck, at the upper right of every screen is a help button that will take you to a relevant page in the manual where you can learn more. Thanks for watching.